degrees. We have more postgraduate degrees. We now even have more PhDs than men. So if you think about it, an economy that is relying increasingly on talent over muscle is going to need to find the pools of talent. Universities in America, as I know, I have a son who's a senior, so he's applying to colleges at the moment, are now having to have positive discrimination programs in favor of boys. Because the girls are doing so well. The girls are doing so well in school and so well in colleges that the boys are kind of being left behind. This is a moment that is of huge advantage to women. I think the other reason that companies are doing so well when they employ more women is that women have different skills than men. And this is another thing we wanted to say in the book, that after 40 years of kind of pretending that we were the guys, I mean, God, we even wore those hideous shoulder pads back in the 80s. I mean, how much more like the guys did we want to be? After 40 years of trying to be like, guys, I think it's okay to say, you know what, we're different. Women are different. And that doesn't mean that we're different in a bad way. It can actually mean that we're different in a very good way. And by very good, we're talking bottom line here, I could also mean profitable. Those skills that we all know that we have, those personal skills, the skills we have in our relationships with our friends, the ability to reach out, to listen to people, to incorporate different points of view, to bring people together, to nurture people. All of those skills that were kind of seen as soft for so long, and now increasingly in the business world being seen as, guess what? Profitable. In this global communications environment, I, I was up in New York just a week ago talking um, to MetLife about uh, this subject of promoting women. And the head of their Asia region said to me, you know what, it's really interesting. When I go on trips abroad to meet um, clients in Asia, particularly when we don't speak the language, I find it's really interesting to have a senior woman on my trip with me. Because she will have an ability to communicate with people in the room, to listen to the body language, to watch how people are responding, to reach out, to smile, to nod, to use all of those, I mean, it sounds almost like a cliche, but she said, we will now always, when we are going to try and negotiate a new deal in Asia, we will take a senior woman on the team because of her ability to communicate even though they don't speak the language. 